welcome to this channel. Oh, the hell? Wow. What the hell is going on here? Well, we don't have to. Yeah, well, um, I wasn't exactly sure what, why that car was braking. Um, so now, we've got a speed limit of 40! Well, is it a real limit or a fake one? I don't know. Sometimes, you, occasionally, you get it. Um, not often. Get the coppers. Holy moly! Occasionally. This used to be a 40 here, yeah, and then back there was a 50, they lowered it all down. Because the uh, Scottish Greens don't want us to see. So, what's going on? Well, I've been, I've been arguing with Trevor Ferguson again. Uh, I think I'm. He's. He's lashing out, and I thought I thought he was getting less abusive, um, and then he called <laughs> he called me an imbecile at the end of the comment. He's, he's, so I just said to him, well, "You're just projecting yourself." This is about so the whole thing about the man Khalif thing is so why so he says I'm fanatical about it. I'm not. I'm standing up for. I believe it. I'm standing up for the truth. I believe that a man Khalif is. First and foremost, you can get in a big, you can get in a big load of different things when you start talking about sports, you know, Olympics and everything. But I think she's a woman, and I think it was a false narrative. To it was like a witch hunt that they were, that J.K. Rowling embarked upon to make out to 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 have people believe that she was a trans woman, which is a man who became a woman. Well, it's a, it's a, it, you know, the terminology is somebody who's born male and is now recognised as female by the um, the system, right? So, you know, I believe that was the narrative and that's why I'm not fanatical about sport and I don't want to get drawn in arguments about sport about also the areas of it because that is not what this is about. This is about you that's J.K. Rowling, and a lot of men and women, not everybody, I mean a lot of people are against J.K. Rowling, but a lot of them are with her, saying that this man, this, no, this, sorry, this woman, boxer, is a, is a male, and you're adamant, you, you don't know, and it, it's going, the whole thing is weird because it's going on looks, you know, so, it, it, it's such a twisted thing. And so, they, so you get people saying, "Oh, you, so there's a man beating a woman." But what's boxing for? You know, it's like, <laughs> but, and I'm not even interested in boxing. I'm not interested in that type of sport. And but I recognise that boxing is two individuals going in a, a ring and 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 hitting each other. Isn't that what it is? Is that what it is? T t tell me if I'm wrong there. It's not that. Kissing each other. Um, what is it? It's not that. So what does it mean? You know. <laughs> it's, it's just um, such a fucking strange argument to be getting embarked upon. Um, So my, my position, is, so I'm not saying this to any of them in this thread and that thread because I don't want to get in, drawn away. So it's like when you're arguing about some one thing, you've got to try and stick to it. So I suppose that's what I'm teaching myself to do, is to, to not go away on tangents. But, but I still believe that bo boxing or sport should not be segregated. And that, now, so, you, so this guy, for example, and there's lots of other women and whatever are accusing me of being um, like it's all, it's all it's, it's sort of turned around so put it this way if you claim that women are not capable of, of competing you're admitting that they're not 
they're not up to it. You know, can't you just say that? They're not up to competing with men in boxing. But how can they, like, how can they get better if 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 the lid is put, the glass ceiling? They talk about a glass ceiling quite a lot uh, in the pay, in pay structures. Glass ceiling. So they're actually enforcing a glass ceiling on themselves in boxing, so that a man Khalif perhaps would like to go and fight men, right? But she can't. She's got to fight women. She's a woman, right? So, what I'm trying to say is, right, okay, let's do an analogy here. As an artist, I my art got better when I went to college and university and everything, and and landed up creating art with people who knew more about art than me. So, if I just stayed in my own bedroom and done my own art, yeah, it's brilliant art, but it wouldn't have developed the same because. I, I wasn't being challenged, right? So it's maybe not the best ad- analogy, but it is an analogy of sorts. So the fact that if you go boxing and you're just boxing against people who are not that brilliant, i.e. women, because they're not good at boxing, according to this guy, Trevor Ferguson, who's saying that, that, that they can't compete with men, then how are they going to be able to compete with men? So they're just going to keep sports segregated. So what's the point in being a boxer? So. There must be, I'm not even interested in in sport, but what about motor racing? What about golfing? What does handicap mean? You know, I'm I'm asking that sort of rhetorical, I, I sort of know what it means. So why can't they do that? Or why can't you have the best, how about, the best woman boxer? Or something like that. How does that work? So they, they use the biological argument about, you know, about the strength of your arm and stuff, and, oh, uh, you, know, you know, it does do your head in. I just think, women should be at home having babies. You know, go fucking home, have some babies, and fucking shut up. But it's too late for me, I can't. Having an operation, I can't. I can't. I don't have any fucking, I don't have the equipment to do it. Sorry. Thank fuck for that for me, because I already had five. Right. And that's it, it's over for me. I tried my best. I, I was using, I tried the best of what I had at the time, right? And if it wasn't much good, it was the best that I could muster at the time. And that's the way my, that's the way life is. That was the best I could come up with. I looked back on it, it was pretty poor effort, you know, or whatever. But it was the best. It was the best I could come up with. And, um, it was all I knew at the time. I know differently now, I know more, but it's too late. So, yeah, I think we're just like, um, like we are full of hormones and everything, and when you're young, you, people want to, they want to go out and shag, don't they? And if you end up married and that, and then you get bored, you know, you shouldn't go shagging and that, you shouldn't, but people do, and that's just, and it's nice and it's actually natural. Um, but really, you should try and look after your, partner and family and children and all the rest of it and if it's the best option but I, it's coming from a certain position of hypocrisy because I have failed badly with all that sort of thing but, but I don't think it's that unusual what happened to me so um, you know um, it doesn't say I'm going to sit here and take the blame for everything no because that's what I, because the people I'm married to are, are high on narcissism so they would they would uh, see that as an opportunity to win whatever argument they had rather than going Hey, that's the past, let's move on. You know, which car didn't indicate to come off. Never mind, so I hope that clears all that up. So thanks for watching, please like, share and subscribe. I think that, we'll have a look at that video and see what I look like these cars overtaking, look quite exciting. Um, so thanks for watching, bye! 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 Bye!